we are CID or Copenhagen Institute of Interaction Design and uh, we have a hybrid model of doing education, research and consulting in the space of design and technology. Uh, we have a global sort of excellence center here where we bring in students, faculty, researchers and professionals from all over the world um, to come work with us uh, here. And, uh, we have about an uh, internal sort of consulting team of about uh, 15 people today and then we have faculty members from all over the world who come and teach. We have close to uh, maybe 45, 50 different uh, top-notch faculty that we invite from different global universities and uh, we get close to 150 to 200 applicants every year and then we select about 25 to come and study with us here for a period of one year. So all in all, this building is basically a very unusual organization where there's a lot of traffic of people and activities and there's a lot of uh, visitors from all over the world. Um, we just saw two gentlemen from Toyota from Japan who just come to visit us for a project that we're doing for them. Uh, we do research activities and consulting projects for all kinds of global companies. Um, in Denmark, mainly with Novo Nordisk and West Line. These are two of our biggest clients here in Denmark. When this was started? Six years ago? Six years ago. And uh, we started in a really small way. We started in a small office about the size of this room in, uh, in Arma, in this little yeah. island uh, of like, yeah. uh, Copenhagen, and uh, in the old university buildings. And then we slowly grew from there. And we built our consulting practice first, and then we evolved into doing sort of research and education. Uh, so today we have our own education program. We mm -hmm. have consulting practice and then we do European Union research projects. What do you think is behind that success which it is? Is it because you or, or some people here are very dynamic or is it because the, the Denmark needs this uh, so it's it's a natural or why? Well in some ways you should acknowledge that there is no... the demand has to be created. Hmm. Like uh, if you look at... Uh, if you wait for demand to come by I don't think a place like this will exist. Uh, I think it's really about creation of markets and creation of opportunities. And, yeah, that's right. And yeah. it's really this combination of using design as a driver for innovation, which is what's resonating really well with the industry here in Denmark, because the Danish industry is really hungry for innovation culture. And I think we just landed at the right time to some extent in that. And of course, it's the team that makes a huge difference. Uh, we have a really outstanding team here. Cutting across many different nationalities, great backgrounds and skills, uh, and I think we owe a lot of what we are today to our team that's helped build this place. Mm 